Uh, hello everyone, I'm Luyang. Thank you uh, for everyone's coming. And uh, today uh, I want to show you my newest uh, game work called The Great Adventure of Material World. So I think uh, we can uh, start from this Mac computer first. Can we turn off the light? So um, for the game, the great adventure of the material world, the very important thing is the material world. This idea is actually from Hinduism and Buddhism. They say that our world is a container and uh, all, everything on this world is uh, like, uh, it's like a physical things on this container. And our body is our container too. And we have our soul in our body, that's the human being. Uh, so why uh, the, there's a superhero in this game you can you can play with it's called the Material World Knight, and uh, actually it's uh, from uh, I created this character from uh, the beginning of uh, uh, last year, and uh, sorry, we we can we can turn the sound a little bit off uh, the volume. Actually, it's a three-channel video. And uh, so I can only show you one, one channel because uh, uh, so we can, we can see this one video first. I cooperate with, uh, I actually shoot this video in Japan and uh, there's uh, three different kind of characters in, in this work. Like one, one is uh, this uh, Kigurumi mask boy, and uh, another character is uh, this uh, robotic. They are actually an idol group from from Osaka, and uh, people they in love with their uh, a lot of their fans. They actually they don't know who's inside those uh, those costume. So it's very weird. Uh, idol group. They have I think they have over ten. Idols, so they are ten different type of the of the robot suit. And uh, the another the third character is uh, this exoskeleton robot. I invite them from Tokyo to Kumamoto. So we shoot the video inside this miniature city. In Japan, they call the uh, um, takusats, cause uh, like a, it's like a Ultraman. They fight, they fight a kaiju, the monster in inside those miniature cities. So in this video, um, actually, that's too much things inside, too much messages things that I can't really describe. Um, what's this video it is, but at, uh, as a result, this video have a, there's a new superhero com combined all the powers from those characters and his name is uh, the Material World Knight. Yeah, actually, uh, this work is uh, also include a lot of my past works that talking about the consciousness, the brain, uh, the disease, like the particles in this universe, how how to group our world. Because the video is long, so uh, I just uh, play it like this. Субтитр спросил свое сердце увидеть мир и победить желание. Мы рыцари материального мира. С 
So this is the material world night. Um, actually, all my works they have the connections. So, so this uh, you can you can uh, think this is the first episode and the second episode is the game. So another video I want to show you before we play the game is uh, the uterus man. This is a superhero I created in 2013. Uh, it's a, an asexual superhero. All the power is from the uterus. So um, the uter uterus man can use uh, DNA power or the um, XO uh, or, or the the XY chromosome power or the power like the some bloody power or the the most powerful thing is the baby beast. So th this video is all about uh, introducing about how the uterus man comes from and what kind of superpowers he can use. So this is the XY power. You can use this power to change your enemy's gender. For example, you can change a uh, male into females and you can beat it very easily after. And the DNA power, you can change your enemies into a monster or into as a kind of uh, living or uh, as a kind of animals. And he he can ride on this uh, pair wheels carrier. Uh, here is how the baby monster comes out. Мы можем теперь перейти в режим игры. Окей, so let's play this game. So at the beginning, uh, this is the material world night. He's uh, 
talking about something. So the uh, first uh, stage is about the uterus man world. So you can see the uterus man, you just uh, seen the video, he is the NPC of this stage. So that's a lot of uh, dialogue box in this, in this game. It's uh, talking about uh, um, some gender issues and uh, like if you fly to this uh, skeleton, if you can see this is a male or female. Also, some uh, so you have to follow this uh, green arrow to finish uh, finish this stage. For example, those uh, human organs, uh, it's actually in Buddhism, they said that uh, a way of meditation is to think about 36 uh, dirty things in our body. Then you can reduce your desire. All those tanks, they are uh, like have the babies inside. And you can see in this space, uh, if you can read Chinese, uh, actually this uh, uh, it's a, a sutra from Buddhism. It's talking about uh, how the human being comes to this world, like how uh, how uh, how's, how's the thing group our body. Then you can get out of this place. Uh, now you come to a, a human city. You can see all the all the people inside is is me. I put myself head on on all the all people in the city. So there's an ATM man, you can attack him. This says the baby weapon, he's running. You can also fly. Uh, all the dialogue box, uh, the things that dialogue, dialogue boxes, like uh, uh, in Buddhism, they say the um, there's a, a different uh, track in our in our world. Like we uh, all, uh, all of us uh, is also always falling in those tracks.
So the material world knight, he's going to jump off this world. So there are, uh, this is another character in my another walk. So they are fighting. Now we go to next stage. Can we get back to this Mac computer? So the second video I want to show a little bit is uh, an another work called the Luyang Delusional Mandala. So I scan my face into a 3D model in, in this work and take off the face of this 3D model. So I put myself into an asexual body. I think all um, of my works, the characters inside, they are asexual. And this t-shirt is the Eurosman t-shirt. And this, uh, this thing is always uh, used for some brain surgery, for example, some Parkinson's disease surgery. It has the electronic uh, needles on this, on this thing, and uh, it can uh, set an area, area in, your, your, in your deep brain and give some uh, electro stimulations. So this is how it works. So this part is uh, talking about the limbic system in our brain, which is very important uh, for like uh, our emotions comes from. So this 
车环路，急急难环路，游客去开始今后带回去海马。有 ，Then I, um, change a little bit of this.、Uh, Looks like a crown, the de、uh, deep brain stimulation system. I'm thinking about if we can have several different points、uh, to st stimulate. For example,、uh, to add more needles. <laughs> 所、so, 以、so、，is that possible? We can use some、uh, special tool to turn us into a guard. And this、uh, this crown looks like some in some religions way. Lo、uh, a lot of religions they have if the gods they have a back aura in whatever in Christian or in Buddhism. So here. 然后我把这个冠冕放在不同的类型的身体，这是从阿斯拉，从从日本，呃，从新宫布达斯，然后这是更像是泰国的布达斯。这是我的冠冕。So this is the transcranial magnetic stimulation thing. Actually, it's all also、um, very useful for some、um, dis like brain disease. Some sometimes they use to、uh, use it for the depression. Also, the Parkinson disease. The thing is,、uh, like when you, for example, if you、um, put the coil at some some part of your brain, you can't really speak. And when I make some, do some M M R I or C T scan, I feel it looks like the way of burn your body. And、uh, this part is、uh, talking about a different way of die. Then、uh, the thing I've already mentioned in the game about the thirty-six different dirty. So it's、uh, this is、uh, how the thirty-six dirty looks like. And also, it says something about relative with some Asia Udu, like、uh, the head.、Uh, your head can like bring your organs go out of your body. And then、uh, at the,、uh, the final part of the video, I just create a hearse for myself. I'm just thinking about uh, uh, now the new media is very popular. So why don't we use the new media, the digital thing, in our hearse,、uh, in our like funeral? For example, if if you have a A live photo. When people comes to your funeral, you can you can smile to them. Or so maybe we can switch to the second stage from this PC. So this is the. Second stage. You can see a lot of things here. 
and you can you can find out me is over there too. So I think all the information is very close to the last video I showed you, that um, or like a delusional world. You can go through all those heads. So you see there's uh, many uh, humans, they have uh, a different text the tattoo on their chest. Uh, um, that's the, in Buddhism they say that in our world we have eight different kind of painful. Also not only the physical painful, but also some like uh, uh, if you are in happy, the happy, ha happiness is also painful. Then this is the exit of this, this level. So in this level, we'll have another NPC followed called the Brain Messenger, uh, Brain Country Messenger. So, in this game, it's more like a heaven. So it's talking about if the heaven is a place that we can move to. Or in some region, people think uh, uh, in heaven for them, there's uh, lots of virgins waiting for them. But if uh, a female go to heaven, is there also some virgins for, for female? So material one might say that if a female died, then go to heaven, there must be not only, not just a virgin, maybe some handsome boys waiting for you. I just play this game very quickly, but if you, um, the audience, uh, the player can play it, it, actually you can you can find a lot of fun things inside this world, not only one road. So 
So this is talking about uh, if the the less painful compared with very strong painful, it's the less painful, uh, it's happiness, but actually it's still pain. That's uh, uh, it's relative with the last uh, last stage. So material world night feel it's very boring in this heavens. Uh, he want to jump off this world. Now he suddenly comes to the hell. Because uh, in the religion, they have a, they have a uh, thing to talking about uh, after you enjoy the, all, the, all the happiness in heaven, then you, um, like uh, your bank is empty. You have to go have suffering in, in hell. It's also talking about is the hell, um, big or small. Oh, it's on the location. Oh, why we uh, designed the hell like uh, it's all like physical, physical suffering. So it's a very Asia background hell. I don't know how in Russia people think the hell looks like. And those are Asian zombies. So if we um, inhale, we suffering all. It's all physical, or uh, based on our our physical body is suffering. Are we still human being, or we are another kind of being? They have the same same painful system like to, like human being. And this part is uh, uh, special in, I think, Asia culture. They say that after you die, you go to uh, not not maybe not it's not hell. It's uh, another world, and uh, there's a judge will waiting for you to see if you have to go heaven or hell. And all the all the souls they are praying here. And it's uh, it's like. Uh, 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 then you you have to follow this green arrow to the next level of hell. In Asia background, they say the hell have 18 different levels. So each layer is more painful than than the lower uh, or the upper uh, level. And all the beings, their life is super long. It's over a million years long life. 
and a non-stop suffering. And this text in Chinese is uh, talking about uh, nothing you can bring after you die, only the karma. So it's like um, this is talking about if uh, our heart not create uh, the hell, so then we can't really experience it. I don't know if you have seen um, this character uh, is holding a wheel in Asia background. Uh, actually, from Tibetan Buddhism, they say this is the life wheel. And those are the guards, uh, actually, from my other work. So the material world night, uh, he's going to fly into the the white white light area, and he's talking about if the hell is uh, can ex ex uh, we can escape hell. So the hell is not uh, we we are not going to live in hell forever. Everything is changing. And then can we back to the Mac computer? So another work I want to show is uh, the character you can you can uh, just uh, saw from the video game. This is another work from 2011. The main character inside this video is uh, actually exists in Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, his name is Yamantaka. He is the most uh, wrathful deity from Tibetan Buddhism. So the beginning, the first part of this video is uh, like introducing the different weapons in his 34 arms. And he has nine heads with, uh, also with uh, 16 legs. For this video, I'm always uh, I just focusing on uh, a very important uh, emotion from from human beings: anger. I think if uh, uh, he has nine heads, so he can have nine brain, and all the anger, all the bad emotions, is from our our brain. So we can just jump this part into the. Right. Yamantaka has nine heads, the topmost being that yellow man Jushri with a slightly wrathful expression. The human brain is the same. And uh, this part I copied with the psychologist, he helped me to roll the different uh, pathway of our emotion. Um, our, our emotion is not like every time it happens, it's not only from one one part from our brain is actually the different brain parts, they working together to have our emotions. For example, the anger, they have many, many different uh, pathways. So those, those parts of the brain, they working together. And the most uh, important part of the, the bad emotion, anger, 
Yes, amygdala. Also, the fearful is from amygdala. But it's just uh, like uh, most of sci scientists I think it's from this part, but brain is very complex, I think. And why I want to put the head, uh, put the brain in, into a religion figure because in this religion, uh, they 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 say like after we die, we lose our physical body, then we will have another kind of uh, um, travel until our next reincarnation. So during this gap, we will see a lot of very fearful, very scary things. But during that time, if you feel if you have the same experience uh, or the um, like when you face two very scary things, you are you will go to the bad reincarnation. But if you if you know you already lost your physical body, you can see everything is not is unreal. Nothing can hurt you. So you you can see your own heart. Then you can maybe you can jump out of those uh, reincarnation. Then I think we can jump to another video. In last episode uh, of the game, in last stage, you see there's a uh, different uh, character I've created. Eight. Oh, sorry. So this part actually uh, connect with uh, the delusional Mandela work. And now, and on, in this video, I create uh, four new character. And I want to create a new religion. Uh, so all the religions, they will have the God. So the, those are the God that I create for my own religion. I call it uh, uh, electromagnetic brainology. And this character is influenced by the um, goddess Kali from Hinduism. So I, in, in this film, I call this god as a fire god. And this is the Earth Guard, this is the Air Guard. And the last, uh, last one is the Water, Water. Here is the Water Guard. So why those guard in this, um, this religion? Because uh, um, in some religions they say that our, our world is grouped by four elements. There's a fire, earth, air, and water. And all those elements, uh, during our close to, close to death, uh, all those elements will separate and we will, feel, we will experience the different kind of uh, elements painful. So let's switch to the PC computer. So this is uh, another level, another stage. So in this special stage, you have to finish a mission as a find a super weapon to fight in this game. It's a special weapon called Vajra, uh, which is, uh, uh, they, in Hinduism, they say that this is the most hard um, material in this world, and uh, uh, this weapon can destroy everything on this physical world, but nothing can destroy this weapon. And Yamantaka, he is uh, um, at the 
gates of this temple. So we have to go through him. So you can see there's a Vajra over there. Then the material world knight got the Vajra. Uh, Vajra, actually this game is very relative. I'm very inspired by a very important sutra from Buddhism called the Vajra Sutra. It's like the sutra is talking about something you, uh, like uh, something can re really destroy Vajra. Not Vajra destroy everything. So the material world knight, he have to attack the enemies in this city. So he's going to destroy things. Right. That's lots of uh, monsters of me inside this stage. Same here. You can see the four guards is uh, making something, it's creating something. That's the four elements uh, create this world. So he want to go inside this. Go to next stage. So in this in this city, he's also going to find uh, find his uh, another weapon. Then he can fight out of the earth. He can fight in cosmic. I think it's a
now you can see his new Gundam robot. Now he's uh, the material one that is inside this robot and then looking around the universe. He can transform into a spaceship. So those uh, are the lots of uh, important physical things in our world. Those bags, the they show in the gigantic way in floating inside the universe. So the material one night, uh, he's going to shoot all those physical floating things. In this stage, you can start shooting. Village.
So um, it's actually the final stage. So this stage you have to fight yourself. So the last uh, uh, several dialogue, uh, the text inside is uh, the sentence from uh, Heart Su uh, it's from the Vajra Sutra, like our our, our experience is uh, like like illusion. I think those are the all stages, but last uh, last one is uh, looks more like a dance dance revolution, and that's the that's the end of the game. So for the dance movements, actually, I um, recorded by the motion capture system. Uh, so can we switch to the Mac? Then I can show you how the motion capture things I'm working on. 
this is the one recording of my past uh, performance. So I use the motion capture system to uh, active my own characters, looks like this. So during the same time, you can see the um, characters and also the real dancer. So I also use the program, uh, like, uh, use Unity to make this performance program. I have a, a media controller, so I can change the camera view and the different camera on different characters, also the VFX. Also change the different emotions of on face. I also want to show you um, this character, the Brain Control Messenger, uh, how this char character comes from. I cooperate, uh, cooperate with a Japanese idol. Her name is Chang Momo, and uh, she's from an uh, idol group called uh, Bando Janaimo. Then, uh, this is the crown from Delusion of Mandala. So she's a transformation like a Sailor Moon. This is a TMS. Uh, 
in this in this film, she has a new weapon called the GBS. So she can use a remote control to remove the hum uh, people's direction. So this is the how GVS, uh, GVS works. And they are fighting inside the uh, miniature cities. Let me find what uh, uh, GVS is. Maybe have this. This is a small video about uh, GVS. It's actually um, this uh, professor is from Osaka University, and uh, uh, I invited him to a uh, museum in Shanghai. So if you wear this GVS system, uh, they, another people, they can remote control your direction, or you can use the remote control control yourself's direction. I've tried, it looks like uh, you are drunk and uh, you are very dizzy. Oh, sorry. So, there's another thing about GVS is uh, uh, hold this uh, bowl and uh, there are small figures inside this bowl and actually it's you. So all the weapons, so everything, uh, lost thing is uh, relative with the nowadays tool we already have and effects on our brain. It's a, I'm al always try to talking about it's the consciousness from our brain or the your brain can control by some uh, out power. Mm. And I want to show this video I, I forgot to show during the hell level. Actually, that uh, in the hell level inside game is relative with this work is talking about hell. So in this video, I'm describing a lot uh, thing from the 18 different uh, kinds of hell from Asia background. And I'm thinking about if you can receive painful, you must have the nerve system. Because our skin, our, uh, our physical body, they have uh, lots of receptor under our skin. And you touch something, you can feel heat, or you feel cold, or you feel pressure. And then you, uh, your, actually it's your brain experience the pain uh, suffering because all the signal from your physical body will go to brain. So in the different hell, the human beings inside always after they will open their head to show the brain, cause the, the brain is in suffering. I think it's, oh, 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 sorry, I forgot the last thing. Let's show you what TMS it is. So this is the real TMS uh, coil, the TMS machine. Uh, we shoot this video in a laboratory in Shanghai. So how TMS works is, uh, if you want to speak, uh, I just put a TMS coil on, like for, for example, the front lobe, you can't really speak. And in this video, I just uh, use a TMS, uh, TMS, uh, a TMS as a new tool to do the exosom.
it's a ultra man background music. Because uh, a lot of people think uh, the like a de demon on your body in religion, it's actually not a not a like a religion or, or psychic experience. It's actually there's a syndrome called a torture syndrome. You are always speaking some dirty words and you can't control yourself. So if we have a TMS tour to affect on your brain, you can't speak. So that's a modern. Um, modern tour, it's like a cross to to the people who has the who has this kind of syndrome. Can we uh, volume up? I think the time is uh, almost to finish. Uh, almost, yeah. 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 Uh, whatever, I can play this and we can m may make the sound off. I can just uh, play a video, make the sound off as the background. Okay. Without light? Yeah. Okay. If you have Пожалуйста, можете задавать. Можете поднять руку, я передам вам микрофон. Oh, thank you. I have a, a one question. This one was один был первый. So hello, it was like quite exciting to see, and uh, thank you for showing this. And the question is, look, uh, you call the project, like you, all your material clients' projects, uh, like video games. And there's a lot of debate going on what the video game is and what the video game isn't. And it is actually quite interesting to hear from you what the video game for you. I mean, uh, as a format, as a medium, why are you actually going to this format uh, and not for any other? Mm. Uh, this actually, this video game is the uh, for actually the biggest game I've ever made. Before I just made several small games, and uh, what, during I making this work, I actually cooperate with a programmer, and he do all the codes, and I do all the visual things. So when I arrange all the um, everything inside a different stage, that's very fun for me. It's more like. Um, before I always do some uh, 3D rendering, so that's just a video. But when you're doing a game, it's more like you bring some two dimensions things into three dimension. Mm -hmm. 
So when you play the game, you can you can feel you are in a, inside a world. It's not just a watch a video. And yeah. have you thought about like, uh, I mean, is this uh, th these games of yours are actually playable by people from the internet? Do you uh, like share them to all over the world to download and play, or it is just for like art exhibitions and so on and so forth? I think from now, uh, I haven't actually haven't finished this game yet. I have to do all the sound um, to, uh, the game is very complex. So from now I just uh, shoot it in exhibition to start to shoot the game inside exhibition. And then I will think about if I can share on the net. It would be actually great if you will be able to. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, спасибо за лекцию. Thank you for your lecture. Я хотел спросить, как работает а, механика, когда человек меняет свое направление движения, то, что было показано в видео в лаборатории в Шанхае. И планируете ли вы подобную систему интегрировать в какую-то игру, чтобы человек играя мог а, менять свое психическое состояние или делать что-то под диктовкой игровой модели? Oh. Do you mean like if I, uh, for the aim of the game, is like the players, they will change their consciousness? Are you planning, are you planning to integrate this system when someone is uh, walking and uh, you can control his walking process that you shown in Shanghai, Shanghai laboratory? Yes? There was some Sorry, machine I, that maybe. someone is um, pushing a person to walk right or left. Ah, oh, the, the one, the GVS. How it's work? It's actually uh, electrodes uh, uh, around the, it's actually the system, the equipment looks like a two cycle here and you can wear it, it looks like a, a headphone. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, electrodes uh, to stu stimulate uh, this part. Mm -hmm. So before they start, they have to like uh, put some liquids uh, at here, so the electrode can touch this area. Liquid so inside you, the body? Uh, around here. Uh -huh. So if you have a remote control, like for example, turn left, so there's a, uh, there's a stimulation. Mm -hmm. And if you turn left, there's a, another stimulation, but only makes you feel you have to go this way or this way. Right or left? Yeah, yeah. And uh, the mm. second question is, uh, are you planning to integrate some such kind of a system to your games when a game is uh, pushing a person to act in some particular way? Yeah, I think this is uh, um, actually, uh, I cooperate with this Japanese company in Tokyo actually. I, I asked them if I can cooperate with Osaka University, they have this equipment. And I gave a proposal is, uh, to make a, a, a real GPS. It's like a blended GPS. You don't need to watch your phone. You can you can just make a program. And for example, I want to go this place. It's uh, like auto road go, and you just wear this thing. When you go to this point, you can you can turn left and go that that yeah. point. Then finally you can go to the destination. But they think this is too dangerous. And uh, actually, I think they. Uh, Osaka University, they also treat it very carefully. They think some people will think that's uh, control human beings' mind. Mm. I think, yeah, that's a very similar thing, like you can control a, a, per, uh, a player or you can control a character inside game. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.